so in this session we learn about column okay so first of all i'll go here in columns and also you can go geometry then member or here column or you can press cl for column okay, then i'll click here column same option you'll get now first of all where you want to create your column actually now we are in base okay so we're in base and uh they have some default column size let's say <clears throat> for rcc timber then for rcc for steel we have some column size available here okay now as we are in base and our direction are showing minus z that means downward so i'll provide here minus six feet from base to top direction okay so minus minus will be plus six feet and simply click here anywhere you can click to create your column actually now if you go in view yeah so here to here we can get our distance let's say <clears throat> if we take any reference or if we take any data and uh, we have taken that value as a minus as a positive value that means positive values that define the uh, direction in downward okay down z clear now i'll close it i will come back i'll go to gf sorry i'll go to plan view and from plan view we'll go to gf so we are now in gf again i'll come here and our value is given six feet you can click anywhere you need again provide here six okay and click here here Mm, let's say here here and if we go to view you'll see our column will be created from gf to base and every point of base will get some support system automatic support system and we'll be able to change it later so I'll close it close it escape and select this one delete now again i'll go to plan view and we are now in gf I can click here and let's say i'll go for a rcc section okay and here a height six feet given and anywhere you'll click you'll get that value okay so i'll escape it now i'll give here so from a gf to six feet uh, downward i'll create our column okay and click anywhere anywhere you can click and if we click here then our column will be created remember one thing uh, when your mouse are here and if you click here it will ask you for a reference value okay so skip and give it the height actually let's say six feet hmm. six feet and click anywhere let's say here or here anywhere here then click to create your column your column will be created perfectly so if i go here ready view let's say our column have been created perfectly okay so in this way you have to learn about drawing first uh, let's say if i go plan view then if i go to our story one or fast story okay so now what will be the height actually from first story to gf height will be 10 feet okay and they have an option lower story background and they have option higher story background so this option is not applicable right now i will just close it now here i'll show you to create the, this is 10 feet okay and it will be downward 
click here or click here no problem then okay and go to 3d see our column have been created okay so uh, this is the way to create our uh, our previous column is available here no problem so this is the way to create our column or anything as per our requirement actually okay so um, now we'll go for another thing actually i will select all of that column section or anything delete now I'll click here they have a default section but we need to take any column size or anything as per our requirement or design requirement so i'll click here from here you have to select what you need actually steel rcc beam rcc column timber aluminium joist or joist garter so i need right now rcc column we'll create another course on uh, steel structure for this um, robot software okay rcc and the materials what will be the materials they have many types of materials concrete three four five six okay so 3.5 actually here this value is 3 ksi 3.5 ksi or 4.5 10 12 let's say our materials will be 3.5 and we'll change it later no problem we'll change it our materials uh we'll change our materials later not now now which types of shape you actually need for your structure i need rectangular if you need another shape okay i'll need this one and level what will be the level color let's say auto color and what will be the level of our column uh, let's our column name will be c okay or c1 and its size will be 12 inch into 12 inch and if you click here you will see some option for reduction of moment of inertia so this is the actually property of i mean property modifier so we'll not change it right now we'll change it later if need i'll close it okay and they have angle so what will be the angle of your section you can change it our section will be zero zero and 12 12 okay everything is okay now click add so a section of column see here have been added see on okay see on is added so uh let's say also if you want to specify the c on let's say c on will be 12 into 12 like that and click add it will also specify the section this way now we need a, another section like uh, 2 column 2 and it will be 12 into 15 so our depth will be 15 okay our depth will be 15 and click add then close now you can see our available section is here okay our available section is here now which one you want to use to draw go to plan view go to plan view and let's say i'll go for this one and from here i'll go to our gf what will be the height from gf to down it will be six downward auto automatic it, it will come actually as per a floor height so click anywhere and just release your mouse from this option now simply click Mm, 
it will be we are in gf so it will be six feet it's okay for this outside column or you can sorry you can select all of our grid as per your requirement but uh sometime uh we have to click like that to create our uh, grid actually okay and sometimes uh, we are able to create our that column size or anything perfectly as per our requirement so click here again six feet and click here actually click here okay done now uh, i'll change the columns section close close it and skip select this one delete go to 3d view see here all of our column is available okay so in this way we'll be able to draw it perfectly our column so one by one actually we learn many things and uh, if we go to plan view let's say we want to rotate this column so how we'll do it to do it click hit the have option edit you'll get many option here copy properties move or copy then they have option horizontal mirror vertical mirror then axial symmetry many option is available here actually cut by plane i will use this option right now rotate so to rotate select uh, the center and with respect to which point you want to rotate uh, this is for 90 degree and actually this is our reference this is a reference line and here you will see your angle and if you rotate it you will see it's changing here so this is for 90 degree okay if you need to change it for 90 degree you can simply click here and no active selection this operation okay done it's changed okay Control z again select only this column and click 90 degree and click execute mm -hmm. first of all select then click again rotation and on this in this column center let's say we'll rotate this for 45 degree click here and this will change first of all you have to select actually you have to select the size and it will rotate again sorry again you have to select it already selected then click rotate click here and you'll see this is the reference and If you go or if you provide the value 45 degree again and execute it will also rotate so in this way you are able to rotate any member as per your requirement so thank you thank you very much as well stay connected till next lecture uh okay we will complete another thing here so let's say i want to copy or move this column actually so how will copy or move anything first of all i'll skip to execute this option or the selection now let's say uh, i want to move this column or i want to first of all i want to copy this column for 10 feet or for 5 feet in x direction positive x direction now select this column first 
go here move or copy okay click this center and in which direction you want to move provide this value okay in which direction you want to move provide this value so uh let's say we are in a jet and ground floor level and now we want to move let's say uh, 10 uh, 5 feet in right direction or if you have any specific point let's say i want to move this column here just click here it will move here sorry copy here okay and again click uh, close escape and select this column go here and click center now where you want to move actually in which direction or where you want to move you have to provide this value here okay so uh for a specific point any specific point i've shown you previously but by providing value here by providing value here that where we are actually now we are in six feet height okay so our yz or yz will be six feet and let's say our i want to copy this column in 10 feet in right right direction now i'll provide so or five feet that provide five then it will be zero and click execute then here here i have moved our column for five feet in yz direction if i go to view you will see it's moved this column have moved in this direction for five feet okay so in this way we are able to copy or any member now if i go plan view here close escape again select it again select it and go here and click move number of number of repetition it will be one then click move and here we'll provide a value so let's say uh, in uh now we'll move this column to y direction so for x direction it will be zero and for y direction uh, for y direction it will be 10 feet and in z direction it will be zero then click execute see it's moved so in this way you are able to move any member or you are able to copy any member in any direction thank you thank you very much stay connected till next lecture